I've always wanted boobs my entire life. I can't believe that I'm a few hours away from having them. I'm 29 and I work in healthcare and I've never had any procedures done before and I've always wanted breasts. I kind of shied away from it for this long because I thought I'll just wait till after kids and made all, all these excuses. And then this year I really just thought about it and I was like, I want to do this and I only want to go the best and I'm only going to do it once. And that's what I did. I did a bunch of research. Um, I research everything I do. And so I was almost afraid that I wasn't going to find anybody that met every expectation of mine. But I saw all of his YouTube videos and his Instagram and I followed his work for a while. And I also loved that he did his research. And when I met him in person, I just felt completely safe and comfortable. And then the timing worked out and he's my surgeon. Hello, how you doing? Good. You ready for today? Give me a hug. So real quick, we're gonna spend a lot of time in her operation today. We're basically going to take an implant, approximately around 350 cc's. We're gonna place it partially underneath the muscle. The muscle goes from the shoulder to the sternum and underneath here. We're gonna release the muscle a tiny bit underneath here, place the implant gently underneath there. So it's called a dual plane technique. So the implant is basically going to sit on her chest like that. Uh, we're gonna do all through a tiny little incision in this border of the areola. So no one's gonna be able to tell that she had surgery. And then we're gonna close it up in a beautiful five layer closure. So it's the day of your surgery. Um, what's the number one thing on your mind? Just this end result. The waking end result. Up, waking up and seeing I have boobs. Yeah. Well, that's going to be a special moment because you're going to wake up, you're going to have boobs. It's going to be all over. You're going to wake up. It's not going to be very much pain. It'll be a little bit of a tightness sensation and it'll all be done. You get to go to sleep and I get to do all the work. Amazing. All right. Yes. Let's do it. So prior to starting any procedure, especially breast augmentation, I inject numbing medicine. I inject into the incision here, okay? And then I also inject into the medial part of the breast. This is gonna help relieve pain when she wakes up. Okay, what it does is it stops the body from sensing pain, uh, even though she's fully asleep, and allows us to do this without upregulation of pain during and after surgery. So I just want to show you, we have a sizer over here with 350 and we haven't done anything on this side yet. You can see the difference. Flat, beautiful, flat, beautiful, okay? Big difference. I just sat the patient up here. You can kind of see we're doing some on table sizing. We have a 350 over here, 375 over here. This part of the operation is very crucial. Make sure that your doctor does this on table sizing because you want to make sure that the sizing is symmetrical. The pocket is exactly where you want it. Okay, this is how you get an amazing breast augmentation result. Okay guys, so it looks kind of a mess right now, but we're gonna actually tuck all this away nice and neat inside. Okay, we're starting on this side. I'm gonna get a nice closure for her both breasts. Um, so no one's gonna be able to tell that she had a breast augmentation. Beautiful Barrett breast augmentation, you guys. You saw it, all the different steps. All right, stay tuned to the end of this video for her results, but I just wanna do a quick recap. We did differential sizing for her, but if you notice, she doesn't have a whole lot of definition on her chest. Very square, she has a slight bit of a bump of her breast on this side. That was what was really challenging about this case, is we had to um, create more of a roundness for her chest, okay, to kind of match some of these other photos. We also still wanted to make it look very natural, okay? So uh, we were, did our dissection, we did differential sizing, we did 375 on this right side, okay, and 350 on this side, okay? So we didn't really realize that until we sat her up on the table and we put the implant in to see exactly how it looked. And that's the benefit of taking that extra time in surgery to do that so that we can see exactly how it looks 
on our body, just like trying on shoes in a shoe store, okay? Um, that's it for our augmentation. If you guys have any more questions about breast augmentation, make sure you uh, check out our website, breastbybarrett.com, also drdanielbarrett.com for more information. Don't forget to leave your comments, questions, feedback right here on my YouTube page. And if you like what you saw, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you wanna see more videos just like this. Thanks for watching.